We are back to our computer and we have another issue. Our computer just restarted. I mean, Windows updates just downloaded, were downloaded while I was away, left some plots to be done, got back and everything is gone. I mean, those plots that were fully plotted were fine, but the ones that were queued or in process, everything is gone. So this is one of the reasons why you should consider Linux instead of Windows, because at least Linux will not restart your computer when we get the updates and when we want to restart like Windows. So at least that's good. Now, once it happens like this, once everything is being restarted, there are some things you have to do before you continue. First of all, if we take a look at our disk E, this is the fast M2 SSD, we can see that here are a lot of files which were obviously created when the plotting was in process. Now, as we can see here, there are no plottings in process or queued and these files, well, we don't need that them anymore. So we have to format this drive that we would have space for new plots. So quick format, start, K, K, close. Yes, great. So our drive is ready. Now, how to find the best plotting settings if you started plotting? As you can see, once the plot is finished, there is no log button. If you press on three dots, we can see only delete and that's all. There is no logs. But worry not, logs are being saved at a different location. So let's take a look. If you want to find your logs, go to drive C, users, your user, then there is a folder called Chia. Go inside, mainnet, go inside the plotter folder and we have the logs in here. Let's sort by date. We want to have the newest at the top and let's open the last one. We can see the details. Let's go down and we can see that it did not finish. Uh, Windows has restarted. So in here you can see the information until it was working fine. So this by size, we can see that it started. It's really small size. So this was not finished as well. And this one, yes, this was finished. And we can see the details. And for example, we can see here is the phase four. It is the last phase. Final file size in here and total time. Total time it was 21,000 seconds and something like that. So this is where you can find how long everything took. Looking at the logs, I can see that the first stage, the one that consumes the most power, takes around two hours. So at the beginning I was thinking, I will I will set up like two hours for the stage one as uh, the processor working and then after two hours I will start another one. But in this case, in my case, the bottleneck is that fast SSD. It's only 500 gigabytes and that is not enough. So as in these logs I can see the full time, I can think of something better, of some better timings. So let's calculate how many minutes this is. So we have 21,000. Let's divide by 60 and we have 355 minutes. Let's divide by 60 one more time. And we can see that our process took almost six hours for one plot. I can check more logs, but in this case, I already did that. And I know that it's taking like around this time. So basically, we should start another process when half of this process is finished. So that's not the full capability of this machine, of this processor, because I can change, upgrade to the better SSD or get one more SSD and I could speed things up. So if I would get one, it would be like every two hours. So 24 hours during the day, divide by two, we could get around 12 plots and that would be one and 1.2 terabytes 
of space to be plotted in one day. That's quite enough for me, as I'm planning to invest little by little. I mean, to buy new hard drives, like maybe one or two drives each month, not like everything at once. Huge, like take a loan and buy and start. No, 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 no. I like invest little by little, little from the money I got, like from other investments or from like small amount from my salary every every month so that i would not need to stress out like invest a huge amount at once and then think oh man i'm out of the money what should i do i have to pay the loans if i take the loans the salary and so on count no i don't want any stress i prefer little by little so basically in that case if i would upgrade this machine a little bit with a better ssd well once this worn out i'll think about that but for now it's working just fine i'm gonna leave it then yeah in that case it will be 12 plots one and 1.2 terabytes that's fine in this case it will be a little bit less because we have six hours so basically we have to start the process every three hours the first starts after three hours another starts and after another three hours the first one will be already finished and it will have enough space on that fast ssd to do the calculations to do everything and so on so this is how you can find how what the best settings would be also take in consideration the fact that if you let's say you just started and did a first plot and took a look at the log if you start something in parallel for example processor and so on if you use the let's say eight cores of eight cores if your processor has eight cores if you use all cores in your process for the first plot and then for the next one and for the next one so once the first stage is completed some processor is still being used keep that in mind it's still being used a little bit of a process so the timing will be a little bit longer for the second and the third process to finish up so if this would be the first of like plots i'm doing like for the testing one and so on so the time would be shorter and but now as this was not the first one some other were doing were calculating in the background at the time when this was done so this time is quite accurate it's like almost six hours so we have to do a plotting every three hours so that turns to around eight plots a day yeah if we divide 24 by 3 we'll get exactly eight plots so i think this machine should be able to do an eight plots during the day that's 800 gigabytes so for example i got 12 terabytes hard disk actual space around 11 terabytes it would take around from 10 10, yeah, around 15 days it will take around 15 days for me to plot this hard disk or might be a little bit more if I'll get another Windows update of course now I turned them off that it would not start automatically as much as I can because there is no like infinity turn off you can turn off Windows updates only for some kind of period of time so for now I have turned those updates off and hopefully it will not restart my machine until this this disk plotting is finished 355 let's delete let's divide by two we have around 177 minutes for the process to be completed let's go to our plotting to our chia console let's press add plot yes let's leave 100 gigabytes that's more than enough this one is just for testing 600 megabytes now plots let's say we want to have 10 plots plot in parallel let's do the delay 177 advanced options cores let's use all cores ram 
we can increase the RAM because we have like 16 so as I heard that if there is more RAM the process will be faster so let's do like 6 another one will take 6 so it will be 12 and some for the application itself so it will be kind of 16 number of buckets yes this is just fine Q name default we can leave it yes this is fine now temporary this is disk E yes let's select final it is going to be our Toshiba and of course we want to join a pool let's create it great now we have 10 plots all queued another should start after 177 minutes so it's around three hours and after that the hour should be fine as you can see the processor started to increase right away the ssd started to be used as well great looks like at last process is more or less calibrated as i can see this is the timing so if you want to know more about the settings, how you can find the best settings for your machine, leave in the comments, I'll try to explain, I'll try to help you, or maybe I'll create a separate video, because yeah, the logs is your best friend, you have to take a look at the stages, like there is the first stage uses the most of the processor, and the other stages uses hard disk and so on, so in my case, I tried it by myself even without looking at logs when as you remember everything just topped but in my case bottleneck was the SSD drive so I can do 8 plots per day which is in my case is not not bad I'm not planning like I said I'm not planning to to buy I don't have like a bunch of hard drives at the moment so everything is fine so I hope this was useful I'll let you know later on how it's going on, how the drive, if once the drive is finished, what are the revenues for for the plot, for the for the farming. Yes, that's for the farming, not for the plotting. So I will let you know in the separate video, maybe two or three weeks later, once everything is plotted and I have some results. And for now, thank you for watching. Click that like button if you like it, dislike if you don't, but let me know why you don't like it. Also, let me know what settings you are using and is it clear for you what setting you, you should use. If it's not clear, let me know, leave your comments and I will try to help you. So, now everything is running on my machine. Let's try to plot this hard disk I have I and I will come to you with, in the future with the updates of how this is going on and what revenue did I got from this kind of machine and these plots. So thank you for watching, see you next time. Cheers! I fucking hate this mouse, you know, this is quite expensive mouse, it's M705, so it's not the cheap one, as you can see, it's quite ergonomic, it's quite nice, I quite like it, the shape and so on, it's laser, but it has a really big problem, issue, the left mouse button wears out, maybe after 3 or 4 years, so you can't use this mouse for a long time. Because everything works fine, but left mouse button starts to double click when you just click for one time. And this happens with the second or the third mouse. So it's not like one time issue with one mouse. It's an issue with this model M705. So I'm not gonna buy this mouse anymore. As much as I like it, I'm gonna look for something else. Let's start record again. One, two, three. It's recording 9.20 a.m. I wonder where it's now 9.20 a.m. because it's like 7.20. It's almost 9.20 p.m. here in Lithuania.